Mornings are hard. I don't want to do it all over again. But when my dad's health issues prevented him from working, there was no choice. My family is counting on me. I put one foot in front of the other walking through the streets of Karachi to get to work by 8 a.m. It's here, at this garments factory, I spend my days. The job I was offered was sewing women's undergarments. At first, seeing these clothes made me shy and uncomfortable. If our family wasn't in such a bad financial spot, I would not come back. But we do what we have to. So here I am, several years later. I work here too. I check to make sure the clothes have no defects before being shipped out to buyers. Day after day, it is tiring. But I think of my daughter at home. I'm trying to provide for us with the money I make working. A few of the women at the factory are friends and we share lunch and tea together. It's become a friendship where we can share our stories, our sorrow and have this graveyard in our hearts where we keep each other's secrets buried. These women get me through my day and missing my daughter. After seven years at the factory, I am stronger. I have become a permanent employee who is a machine operator and I can do whatever work is handed to me. This makes some people nervous because I am confident. I work eight hours and get paid 500 rupees. Together, we produce 11,000 pieces each day. You can't imagine some of the issues we face at work. Even having our superiors try to get us to resign. But I won't. I need this job. I have too much to lose. I am no longer shy. I have become a labor union leader. After all, if I can earn my own money, work hard, and I am capable of learning new skills, why shouldn't I have rights? I won't let someone take that away from me or my family. This is my job. My family depends on it. So while I'm here, they will know I am here. When the clock ticks 6.30 p.m., it is the best part of my day because I can go home to my daughter. My husband is gone. I'm a single mother and not living the life of a housewife like I had hoped. So I have stopped really having dreams of my own. Now I just dream that my daughter will be okay in her life, that she has a husband and doesn't have to work in a factory like me. This life will not be mine forever. Family duty robbed me of my dreams of becoming a doctor. But I am studying English at night when work is done. Because one day, I want to at least have an office job. I want to get married. I want opportunity. I want to keep dreaming. You will never know the thoughts going through our minds as we created these clothes or what has happened in our lives to lead us here. Right now, the reality is my life is in the factory, sewing hoodies and sweatpants for college kids a world away. But secretly, I sometimes imagine being the woman buying it, having the kind of money where I can afford these things. I wonder if the students buying these clothes see Made in Pakistan and think about me, Rubina, 22 years old and hopeful.